I wanted to film a little something before the end of the year. I really hope you're all doing okay and I'm sending so much love to you. I know it is a really challenging time for a lot of people. If you are one of those people, I'm sending you a huge, huge hug. And I thought we would go through my skincare routine, hence the bunny ears. My room smells so amazing at the moment. I am just burning a winter, one of the winter scents from Pot, Pot Do Refills, which is really, really awesome. And this is my second refill. And the room just smells so good. So yes, I thought we would do a bit of an evening skincare routine. It is, my skincare routines are getting earlier and earlier at the moment. It's 20 to six at the moment. So I am doing my skincare very, very early this evening in anticipation of a very quiet evening and an early night. So recently I have been using two cleansers. The first of which, as you can see, is much loved and nearly finished. It is this one by Liar Beauty. They do amazing sheer butter based products. Absolutely love that brand. And yeah, I've been really, really loving this. It's really great for when you have been wearing makeup as it's quite a thick consistency. If you're based in the Northern Hemisphere and it's winter with you at the moment, I hope you are leaning into the cozy vibes. That's what I'm trying to do. Even though if you know me, you know I am very much a summer, summer girl. I kind of press my fingers down on my eyelashes because I do try and be a bit more sensitive on my eye area. Even though most of my skin damage was done long ago, long before there were TikToks about how important it is to wear SPF even indoors. I was sunbedding it up in my teens. Well done, Venetia. Okay, I'm gonna go take this off and then I'll be back. As you can see, that's now off my face. And I'm actually doing a double cleanse this evening as I've been wearing SPF and makeup today as I was doing some filming. This is the Ren Evercalm Gentle Cleansing Milk. The Evercalm range is really, really good for sensitive skin. And I really like using this in the winter. And if I haven't been wearing makeup, um, this will just do, one of these will do for me for the evening. It's quite milky in consistency and it's super gentle. And because my skin gets really dry at this time of year because of the cold, because of heating, I absolutely love it. I would take like less gentle cleansers in the summer when it's really warm, but not at this time of year. I'm gonna take this off and then I'll be right back. Look at this, all of this eye makeup. I went into Boots today to pick up an eye makeup remover that I have not used in years because I basically stopped using eye makeup remover for some reason. But I was thinking that I do think I need a good eye makeup remover back in my life. And I haven't found one that's as effective as this. So I'm just putting some on a reusable cotton pad. The packaging has changed since I used it. So, Maybe the formula has too, I'm not sure, we'll find out. But I remember it being really gentle. As so often eye makeup removers can feel like they're stinging your eyes. I've just been finding that I've been waking up with mascara still sort of halfway down my face, which is not what you want when you don't have the excuse of going out all night the night before, drinking espresso martinis, etc. Yeah, I mean, that is very, very, very effective eye makeup remover. I do actually have a mirror. Yeah, this eye makeup remover is just as I remember it. And if you're an OG to this channel, you will have seen me talk, talk about it before, no doubt. Ooh, I might do a mask. No, I'm not gonna use a mask because I used this on Sunday and it's now Wednesday, but I'll use this on the weekend. My favorite mask at the moment is this absolutely stunning gold mask from one of my favorite skincare brands, which is Evolve Beauty. It's so, so gorge and sparkly and really, really luxurious. So when I next use a mask, I, I do them about once a week. So I use this on the weekend, but I would highly, highly recommend this. It's absolutely lovely. I'm now gonna go in with the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. 
Again with a reusable cotton pad, but you can easily use your fingertips for this. And I just put a tiny, tiny bit of this on around my neck as well. I feel like I forgot to cleanse my neck this evening. I try not to make a habit of forgetting my neck. I like to use a serum. I have been using this Caudalie Radiance Serum, which I'm not overly wild about, but it's fine. I got sent this as a, as a freebie as part of a, an, a beauty package. So yeah, I'm not like overly wild on it, but it's a nice serum. Next, I'm gonna use my favorite eye cream, which is this one by Ren. It's the dark circle one. Just like tapping this in under my eyes, in between my eyes, and then where I smile. Next, I like to use just a few drops of facial oil, which if you have one, you know how long they last. My, one of my favorites is this one by By Sarah. I like to use this opportunity to take a deep breath. And I just kind of press that into my skin. Et finalement, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Ageless Night Cream. This is the, oh, face cream. I thought this was a night cream. Oh, I use this as a night cream. <laughs> it's their Phyto Retinol Face Cream and it's from the Ageless range. I find it super nourishing. And we are done. And if you're wondering about the nail bark varnish, because I know you might be, it's by Pillbox and my sister got this for me for Christmas last year. And you can personalize them. Other thing I wanted to say is obviously I'm using a lot of products that have various different types of packaging, a lot of glass, but also a lot of plastic. I collect all of my empties and then drop all of my empties off at the body shop via their bins that they have in store. You might have seen my vlog um, when I go and visit how they recycle their plastic waste in the UK. But yeah, I save them up all in a bag and then drop them off probably about three or four times a year. And that way you can ensure that all of your beauty packaging isn't going to waste and they accept any brand. If you don't have a body shop near you, definitely go on the TerraCycle website and you will be able to find somewhere, hopefully fairly close to you, where you can drop your beauty empties. I use the TerraCycle website for my empty contact lens cases, which is quite a high area of waste in my life. And they do lots of different things like tooth toothbrush heads, empty toothpaste packets, lots of different stuff. So that's definitely worth checking out. Max is just cooking some dinner. So I thought I would take you into the bedroom so we can talk about some books that I'm gonna be reading. You may or may not know that I go offline every holiday season for an extended offline 48. And my plan for this year's extended offline 48, which I will be taking from maybe the 22nd or 23rd of December into January, is reading. And I wanted to show you a couple of the books that I will be enjoying. The first is The Transgender Issue by Sean Fay. I started this a couple of months ago and then didn't have time to continue with it just because of all the reading that I have to do for the podcast. But from what I have read so far, which is the first 27 pages, it is so, so good. So I'm really looking forward to taking my time with this during Offline 48 and I would highly, highly recommend it. I've listened to Sean on a couple of podcasts. Uh, my podcast app is going wild. It's called Out by Susie Ruffle. And that is actually how I came across Sean and her work. It's such a good podcast in general. And that episode with Sean is amazing. Another book that I couldn't not read uh, this Christmas is gonna be Sally Rooney's Beautiful World, Where Are You? 
I have no idea what to expect from this because I haven't read any reviews and I haven't read, I haven't heard anyone's feelings on it. So let me know how you got on with this if you've read it because I know that a lot of people will have done. I am also going to be reading, aha, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just find Taylor Jenkins read very, very easy to read and I really enjoyed Malibu Rising and Daisy Jones and the Six. They're just super easy reads and I have heard good things about this one so I'm super excited to read that. I will leave all book recommendations, most of which are from my podcast, uh, in the description box of this YouTube video and let me know if you have any book recommendations of things that you think I might enjoy. <laughs> With a nutritionist. Oh, is yes. Is it rain? <laughs> Max mate has made such a delicious pastry stew type dish, and he broke up in the blender the pasta before cooking. So when the pasta was hard, and then left some pieces whole and some people. So let me let me tell you how, let me tell you let me tell you how it actually happened. I added all the ingredients into the the pot and started stirring and then I thought this looks very very soupy and it's gonna be very very watery so how do I thicken this up and I thought if I blend um, this will help create more volume and create more of um, a thicker texture. To make a long story short this was all an accident so the hand blender actually broke up the pasta that was also thrown in there as well so they have like small bits of pasta that almost taste like rice. Yeah. So, so it was a mistake. It was a it was a, it was an accident. This is the best thing about cooking. Sometimes it's the mistakes that give you the best meals. Yeah. This is absolutely delicious. I'm so grateful. It is time for tea. I've been really craving rooibos tea recently. So, oh my gosh, I picked up a box of Cape rooibos and honeybush tea. Caffeine free. I can have with milk in the evenings. Love a milky tea in the evening. Snacks this evening. We have some vegan baklava, which will hopefully be delicious. We just watched the penultimate episode of Impeached or Impeachment, I can never remember what it's called, with Beanie Feldstein, which if you haven't watched, it's sublime. The BBC have been releasing one new episode per week. And so we're watching it in a very 90s way, very slowly. And it's just so, so good. I cannot recommend it enough. And now it is time for me to go and brush my teeth and go to bed. It is 9.30. So I'm gonna read my book and get a very early night. Hopefully waking up, wake up feeling excited for the day. Maybe there'll be sunshine tomorrow. Maybe there won't. I'll remain hopeful nonetheless. Thank you for hanging out with me. Bye.